for the multivariate normal distribution, we'll start with a little bit of uh, notation here. The shorthand for the univariate normal case was as follows. X is distributed as a normal random variable with population mean mu and population variance sigma squared. Well, that shorthand generalizes to the multivariate normal case in the following fashion. X, and that is a random vector X, is distributed as a multivariate normal distribution with population mean vector mu and population variance covariance matrix sigma. The moment generating function for the univariate normal case was m of t is the expected value of e to the tx is e to the mu t plus sigma squared t squared divided by 2 for t from negative infinity to infinity. In the multivariate case for the multivariate normal distribution, the joint moment generating function is m of t1, t2 up to tn is the expected value of e to the t prime x, where t prime is given below. And that will be e to the t prime mu times e to the t prime sigma t divided by 2 for all of the t sub i's between negative infinity and infinity. So you can see even the moment generating function generalizes nicely. For marginal distributions, just like in the bivariate normal case, the marginal distributions for the x sub i's are each normally distributed with mean mu sub i and, and variance sigma sub i squared, i equals 1 to n. The standard normal in the univariate normal case, we had z is normally distributed with mean 0 and variance 1. In the multivariate normal case, the so-called standard multivariate normal distribution is a vector z. And this vector has the multivariate normal matrix. Uh, vec I'm sorry, z has the multivariate normal distribution with mean vector 0 and variance covariance matrix i, where i is the n by n identity matrix. Now on the next two pages are a couple of results. Here's the first one. In the univariate case, you know that if x was normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared, then y equals ax plus b was also normally distributed with mean a mu plus b and variance a squared sigma squared where a and b are constants. How does that port up into the multivariate normal case? Now we have a random vector x which has the multivariate normal distribution with mean vector mu and variance covariance matrix sigma. If you then take y is equal to ax plus b, which is analogous here, but instead of a and b being scalars, they are now a matrix and a vector. More specifically, a is an m by n vector of constants, and b is an m by 1 vector of constants. Then y, which in this case is an m by one vector of random variables has the normal distribution with mean a mu plus b that m by one vector is the mean and variance covariance matrix a sigma a transpose and that will be an m by m variance covariance matrix. Here is one more thing from the normal that generalizes nicely to the multivariate normal. In the univariate normal case, we did something which was called standardizing. And we said if x has a normal distribution with population mean mu and population variance sigma squared, and z is a standard normal random variable, then you can go from x to z in this fashion. And you can go from z back to x in this fashion. Well, in the multivariate normal case, if x is an n by 1 vector of random variables having the multivariate normal distribution with mean vector mu 
and variance covariance matrix sigma and z is what we called multivariate standard normal which is to say it has a vector of zeros for the mean and the identity matrix um, for a variance covariance matrix then z this this particular expression right here this generalizes to x minus mu times sigma to the negative one half and this sigma to the one half is found by spectral decomposition in the other direction which is the analog of x equals mu plus sigma z you have x is equal to the vector mu plus sigma to the one half times z these particular results are useful for random variate generation and that finishes the very long chapter six and this will take us to chapter seven